Hey everybody, it's Miss Jewel. See that bird feeder right there? I filled it up yesterday because I knew that I was going to have a procedure on my back today. And as you can see, I'll bring it even closer. It's empty. One day, I'm going to find the character that keeps emptying out the bird feeder. The boys and I are on the porch. It's been a very, very busy day. As a lot of you know, I had to have spinal injections today at the VA Medical Center. So, a family member was able to take me down to the hospital and another family member brought me back. Uh, well, they're family members and also tribal members. I get to the VA hospital. I was sent to spinal cord injury unit because you know, that's where the injections are gonna go into my spinal cord. They said, oh no, they're not here anymore for the injections. Go around to the front. So George, tribal member and family member, pushed me in the wheelchair to the front. Lady took my name. Oh, you're not here on the first floor. You have to go on the third floor. Third floor, Delta. Okay. Go to the third floor, Delta. 103. Oh no, you have to go to 104. Go to 104. The nurse said, did you get your COVID test? My COVID test? You mean the ones where they check your um, fever, see if you have a fever? And then they spritz your hands with um, sanitary stuff? And she said, no the COVID test. Like, uh, no, I did not know that I was supposed to have a COVID test. Okay, well, you have to go back downstairs. Okay. So, George takes me back downstairs from the third floor Delta to downstairs somewhere. Oh no, this wasn't George now. This was another member of the hospital staff. Get downstairs, getting ready to go where I'm supposed to get a COVID test. He gets a phone call. No, bring her back. We were wrong. It's another person that has a name just like her. So bring her back. All right. So now I'm going back from the um, where you get the COVID test back to third floor Delta. The nurse says, well, you know, you received a phone call yesterday to give you instructions on how to do this and what's going to happen. No, I did not receive a phone call. Well, we have it here that someone called you. So since I'm used to the VA and their um, BS, pulled out my phone, showed her my phone log from yesterday. Nobody from the VA called. Oh, well, okay, well, they were supposed to. Well, they didn't, okay? Okay. Alrighty. Push me into a little room. You know, you get undressed, put on the gown, facing backwards. Now it's my turn to go in. No, no, okay, back up again. Blood pressure. They couldn't get the blood pressure machine to work. The cuffs kept breaking. So that was another 10 minutes, exactly 10 minutes of them pulling out new pressure cuffs. Finally, well, this one is working. I'm like, hallelujah. Now they take me down to the room. I'm going down this long corridor. We turn another long corner we turn another long corner 
finally we get to the little room. Everybody's joyful, you know, they're happy. They're nice people. But well, we want you to go from this chair that you're in to this bed. And I'm, I'm looking at the gap between the two things here. I'm like, uh, that's a pretty large gap. I'm not graceful, which means I'm gonna fall onto the floor face first. They thought about it. Okay, they told me to get down and I can step on there. So I get down, I go to step up on the bed. Bed is too high. I can't get my leg up on the bed. I told them, I need a step stool. Well, do any of your friends have trucks? Like, yes. How do you get into the truck? They have step stools. Oh, they found a step stool. Woo. So, I get up on the bed. Oh, I, I know you guys couldn't see him, but that was a hummingbird, which means I can now put my hummingbird feeders out. I finally get up on the bed. They adjust me. The doctors come in. I'm hearing what they're saying. Okay, yeah, we see the scar tissue from her previous surgeries. Um, okay, the equipment that she has in her back. Yeah, so we're going to have to, instead of doing it one way, we're going to have to go up under the hardware and through the scar tissue and something else and something else. In my brain, I'm screaming. In my brain, I see myself jumping off of that table and running butt naked out of the hospital. So they put the stuff on my back, they clean the back, and then the numbing starts. Okay, well, you know, we're gonna numb this now and you'll be okay. I'm like, no, I'm not. So they started the process of the injections. I'm feeling everything and how whatever that little thing was that was in, you know, around my spine, I felt every movement. I'm trying to lay there, face down, arms hanging down, you know, to open up the area. I kept telling myself, it'll be over soon. It'll be over soon. Then I scream in pain, like, oh, okay, you felt that? Yes, I did, but okay. And I'm just praying and praying and counting. And then I tried my best to um, revisit the conversation with Tita Talks. And she was talking about, you know, putting on makeup today and I was laughing at that because I had makeup in my car, back seat, and the makeup had melted and some of the lipstick had gotten onto Bear, that white dog right there. And how I had to pay like $75 for spot cleaning, which is why you can see how Bear is splotchy and, and white. Oh. In the little chair, the dog chair. That's a dog chair, by the way, everybody. That sire. Um, they changed his name from Cujo. Yeah, I'm talking about you. To Micro Satan. Because he's crazy. Okay. So, I'm feeling everything and the injections going through. And I'm like, this has got to be over soon. Finally, it's over. I'm back in recovery. I guess maybe 15, 20 minutes later, they're helping me to get dressed. George has me in the wheelchair, pushing me back out to the parking lot. And in my brain, I'm going faster, faster, just get me away from these people. So we leave, we go get lunch at Hello Pokey, it's a Hawaiian style bowl. Um, George has something called Yum Yum. I always get the amazing. That's with salmon, tuna, and shrimp. Seaweed, rice. I forgot what you call those large peas. It starts with an E. Some spicy 
and oily. The um, the sauce is like a tan, but it's spicy, and the soy sauce. I always get that. I love eating the salmon and the tuna. It's raw. They're raw chunks. Oh, and instead of the jalapeno, because I can't do jalapenos, or sweet onion, I got an extra of ginger. So, I'm now home. You know, he brings me home. And the dogs are happy to see me. I'm happy to see them. Bear, of course, is checking me out like, where did you go? What's that funny smell on you? Okay, so I couldn't take him with me since I was going into the surgical unit. And thank God, I only live seconds away. Little dog was like, well, it's about time. Um, where have you been? Okay, I'm going to stay right on your foot so you can't get away again. Feed them. I rest. Still listening to T Tita talks. I'm telling you, Tita, you are a lifeline today. You took my mind off of the procedure, off of the swelling. I was laughing, shaking my head, because a lot of things was um, truth today. And then I sat up on the couch because suddenly I wanted chocolate cake. And then I remember I also had to pick up the stole that has my mom picture on it that I'm gonna wear during graduation. So of course, I walked very slowly and the, the boys and I we get into the car and I had ordered my chocolate cake from P.F. Chang's because once a month, that is my reward. And I picked up the item from the, what do you call those people? The print shop that put my mother's picture on, on my stool. Came back here, oh no, no. And as I'm driving, I'm looking at the boys and you know, they're like, we're in the car, we're happy. So I go to Brewster's. I get them their pup cups, which is vanilla ice cream with a cone that's crushed. And I got myself a sour apple um, Slurpee or something like that. That's it right there. It's really sweet. You know, so I'm taking my time. Of course, little dog can't hold his ice cream. He falls right off to sleep as I'm driving home. Then he needs to get comfortable. Stop eating that grass. No, do not eat it. So he has to get comfortable. He takes my pocketbook and smashes it down, you know, so he can use my pocketbook as a bed. So now we are home. We are home. I am sitting on the porch. That has to be fixed. Russ will get around to doing it. I'm not worried. He's going to replace all of this old stuff here. You know, he's been very busy, but that's okay. A person that, you know, I'm on, I'm on Facebook, so I was reading, I was reading some of the you know, notifications. And a person who's angry with Biden because of all the things that's happening, um, our world is like falling apart because of, of Biden. Uh, he doesn't seem to realize that before Biden, there was Trump. You know, the man who sides with uh, Putin. So he says something and then he used the phrase Let's go, Brandon. And anybody with half a brain knows that um, that's a war cry. A war cry against President Biden. 
And I looked at that. And I'm like, why would you use this war cry? I mean, I didn't like Trump. I still do not care for Trump. <laughs> but I'm not going to go on social media and say, you know, Bleh, Trump. You know, the man was our president. Good, bad, evil, whatever. He was our president. You voted him in. Um, yes, people are saying that the election was a fraud. And, you know, you look at all these people who are supposed to be intelligent. You know, intelligent. And they don't have an ounce of common sense. Yeah, that's the other thing, too. A friend of mine, my pastor, who's also my cousin, who also is my principal chief, you know. We were talking about people who are considered geniuses. You can be a genius. But just because you're a genius, that does not mean you have common sense. So, I couldn't understand why that person will use that war cry, let's go Brandon. And I, you know, I said what I had to say. And then I, um, what's the word? I quieted any notification that would come from him so he could talk about this. Because honestly, I said what I said, I don't care anymore. You know, um, if this is what you want to do, if this is what you want to say, then that's on you. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. My life is different. We have yet to have a president or any elected official who has kept their promises. They might keep one, two, maybe three. But if somebody can say to me, Miss Jewel, or some people call me Angel, which is my, my native name. When so-and-so was elected, he made 22 promises, and he kept every last one of them. You show me that person, and I will gladly tip my hat to you. But I'm not going to get peeved at a politician who can't keep promises, because they never do. They never do. And life is too damn short for me to be getting angry at somebody in the White House who wouldn't know me from Adam. Really, I served this country. My back was injured because of this country for serving my country. Two head injuries while I was in the service. Two head injuries when I got out of the service. No, three. The last one was nine days after my mother passed away. I have TBI. PTSD, TBI, anxiety, depression, a back that doesn't work, legs that give out if I am not careful. And of course, I've gained lots of weight since the passing of my mother. Uh, they call it emotional eating. Every day, I have to do the serenity prayer to accept the things that I can change and the things that I cannot. I have to, well, no, to change what I can to accept what I cannot. Wake up in the morning, thank God that he woke me up. Thank God that I have a place to live. Thank God that I have food in my refrigerator. Thank God my dogs and, and reptile nation, the four geckos and the turtle that's in, or tortoise. Every morning I'm, I'm grateful, grateful to wake up. If you can hear the birds right now, I don't know if you can hear it, but this is what I wake up to, bird song. Glory, hallelujah, bird song. And today, Tita played her playlist called 
Sunday morning. I don't know how to do a playlist, but Tita said that her playlist is public. So, you know, go to her playlist. It's, it's Tita Talks. I don't know how to do the little thing to show you how to get there. I think the, it's called a link. I don't know how to link yet. But do that. Because Tremaine Hawkins came on. And the only thing I could do was just praise God for the change. Praise God that I'm not the person that left <coughs> the Navy. I have a honorable discharge. But I had to leave because of medical conditions. Back, head, pregnancy, things that happened to the females during that time. All of this, all of this, all of this. But I'm thankful. I. I'm here. I read somewhere that 22 veterans a day commit suicide. They can't see the light at the end of the tunnel because to them, the light at the end of the tunnel is an oncoming train. I've been there. I've been there. Learning how to relive your life is not easy. And you're not reinventing yourself. You're accepting who you are. You come to peace with who you are. And you work on yourself. I think it's, <clears throat> excuse me, I have dog fur in my throat. Um... It's a song by Mary J. Blige called Good Morning Gorgeous. I downloaded that song because in the morning, I look in the mirror. I don't care what my hair looks like. Good Morning Gorgeous because that's who I am. I'm a gorgeous person. And I'm grateful. My little sayings that I have, inspirational sayings, I keep them on hand. Sometimes I share them on Facebook. Sometimes I share them on Instagram. Mother's Day is coming up. And you're going to have a lot of people. I know I, I probably have... Um, a person out there who does not particularly care for his mother. Hey, I hear you, but I did the best that I could. There are some things that I do regret, but they're not big regrets. My late husband and I, we tried. We tried. But as a mother, I did the best I could. I didn't desert anybody. I worked an eight hour job. Then there were times when I even got a second job to help. I gave the love the best that I could I stood up for the person the best that I could. I did the best that I could. And I'm sorry if that person does not feel that way because that's between them and their God. That's between them and their God.
my God has forgiven me for the things, just like I had to forgive my mom. Just like she had to forgive her mom. And so on, and so on, and so on. But these are the things that I do for myself. I'm not going to get into political banner, or no, it's banter with people. I'm not. If you don't like a person, fine. Fine. If you want to get into debate and argument, over a person who would drive down the street and wouldn't even know you. Fine. If you want to praise a person who holds the highest office in the land and they can say to you, I can walk down the street, shoot somebody. And people won't even mind. Hey. All right. If you can be for a person that will say, well, you know, there are good people on both sides. Okay. All right. Because, you know, he's right. There are good people on both sides and there are bad people on both sides. If you can stand by people who try their best to overthrow the government. Okay. Okay. Especially you veterans out there. You know how you took that oath to protect the flag, the Constitution, we the people? Some of you need to go back and read the Constitution. But if you are okay with people who keep saying the election was a fraud, Oh, no, no, no. Which seems to be your only battle cry. Fine. The election was a fraud. But in the meanwhile, we still have people dying from COVID. In the meanwhile, we still have homeless people, homeless children. In the meanwhile, We still have, where women, you know what, I'm not going to even say women, where people cannot walk down the street in safety because of violence. We still have people who are dying from domestic violence. We still have children whose parents are killing them, hiding their bodies in trash receptacles this is what we have we have people who are still getting animals training them on other animals so they could fight or so that other animal can fight climate change even though there are a lot of people who don't believe in climate change oh look evil has awoken They don't believe in climate change. Even though all you have to do is pay attention to the weather. Earthquakes, where earthquakes never happened before. Volcanoes keep erupting. Icebergs are melting. Animals are going extinct. But yet they don't believe in um, climate change. What are you looking at? Hello? Okay, goodbye. Look at that, see? The the, the groomer is gonna get all of that. He's gonna pull out all of that undercoat that I can't seem to get out. And then one day, we're going to make the German Shepherd white again. (sighs) These are the things out there that concern me. Getting, well, yeah, getting him white again does concern me. But I'm talking about the other things. 
We have so many promises from so many politicians. And yet you still have people living in tents. Children who are abandoned. Oh, and then you have the self-righteous who um, talk about abortion. I am not pro, I am not con. But I do believe that a woman has the right to do whatever she wants to do with her body. No man should tell a woman what to do with her body. It's her body. We don't tell you what to do with yours. You know? We don't tell you what to do with yours. So don't tell us what to do with ours. Respect it. You have those who have the money who will tell you, who will campaign that abortion is wrong. You're killing the baby. Okay, I understand. But then again, you would have those, oh, I okay, sorry. It was another, um, it was another, what do you call those things? Hummingbird. I'm like a dog, you know, when, you, when you're talking to your dog and suddenly the dog goes, squirrel. You know, so. Women who have money, who want an abortion, will be able to travel to get it taken care of. They'll come back to their families or friends. Oh, you know, girl, had to take a break. Yep, had to take a break. So I guess that is kind of my real shmeal for tonight. It is. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear about any veteran who cannot uphold the Constitution. You took an oath. You took an oath that you are supposed to keep until you die. That's the oath you took. That was the oath that you took. If you don't like somebody, don't, don't, don't do the war cry. If you're going to do the war cry, do it around your friends. But not on social media. Because when you do that, you look like a hypocrite. That woman who broke into the Capitol and she got shot and killed. Oh, they killed her. They killed her. Okay, but what about that poor police officer that they killed? Nobody cares about that. They only care about that poor woman who got shot and killed. That veteran. Number one, that veteran should not have been there. If you have to protest like that, sure, but don't protest against the Capitol. Don't, no, no, not the Capitol. I mean, if you want to be big, bad, and bold, all right. Take it out on the White House. Let's see you go against the White House. Let's see you go and try to break into the White House. You broke into the Capitol. That's like um, you go to Philadelphia and you break into Independence Hall. No, if you're big, bad, and bold, go to the White House. See how far you get. Come on, patriots. Storm the White House. And you're not going to do that because they're not... St- Truly stupid. Whew. Wow. I have been on here 
for 35 minutes. And I'm going to go. Oh, look at that. Look how that sun. Let me see if I can, can get up closer. There you go. Look at how the sun is shining on the leaves. The sun is going down. Look at that. Look at that. This is Mother Nature painting. Try not to sound stupid, guys, okay? But it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. The Bible says that whatever things are lovely, whatever things are true, we are to think on these things. I know the passage says more, and I can't tell you where the passage is. But these are the things that you should think of. These are the things that I think of. Whatever things are lovely, whatever things are true. My PTSD, my TBI, they're with me, but they're not me. Tita at one time was out there, but she's not anymore. That is not who she is now. Those who are going into recovery, those who are fighting for sobriety. Yeah, one time they were out there. They're not out there now because that is not who they are. Each day they become a new person, a new person, a better person, a stronger person. A beautiful person because they think on these things so I'm going to um, stop now so I think I'm getting sleepy little dog is getting sleepy because you know honestly he can't hold his ice cream it makes him sleepy he has already belched like oh there it goes oh I couldn't catch it I'm going to put the hummingbird... Oh, hold on. I see movement. Okay, that's not the hummingbird, but look, look. And this one is waiting for me to fill it up. I am not going to do it. Yes, I am. I'm going to fill it up. I'm going to fill it up. Suffer for a minute. Okay, everybody. Good night. I love you. Um, I think I'm supposed to say... Like this video, subscribe, and share. Um, one more thing. There's a journey I'm about to take soon, and I am going to vlog my progress. So I'm going to take you with me when I do this. Okay? Love you. Take care. Be good to yourselves. Talk to you later. Good night.